kind of confused me. <laughs> On the left hand side of the road and the right side back there, there's a bunch of signs that said, hey, Beacon Rocky. Here I'm like, been here a lot and I've never seen them before, but apparently they were there. This. So we got a few people up here today. Four, five, six cars, ain't nothing too crazy. This parking lot is uh, pretty big, so it could definitely accommodate a lot of people. Um, I bet you most of these people are from Washington. I have seen Oregonians here before, but it's a little deeper over here, so let's get out and check things out. I'm excited. Alright, guys, it's definitely whipping out here in the wind. Crazy. Exactly how many miles per hour it is, but it's, it's whipping. I was getting ready to take this uh, trail right here, but good thing I didn't because I'm not really trying to go to the waterfront, I'm trying to go to Beacon Rock. Um, let's get a few cars here. Got the old Jeep here. We're out the freeway. Got a little dangerous way to get out of here, but hey, getting all my equipment going. Check it out here. Got the old uh, monopod, the old tripod set up, the backpack going. A little messy, but you ain't getting messy. You ain't probably having fun, so yeah. Alright, let's head up. Yeah, just moments away from hitting up the Vegan Rock hiking trail. Pass and all that good stuff. That's the water sprocket. Surprisingly enough, people climb this dang thing. You can see right here, I don't know exactly where they started, but there's two ways to climb it. Good thing I'm not here to do that today. <laughs> right before we start making the way up here, uh, super quick history, at least as I know, Beacon Rock was uh, supposedly formed during the Ice Age. Or um, whether that's exactly true, <laughs> we'll let you decide that one, but hey, it sounds pretty good, right? Starting this thing off here. Got the little uh, shenanigans going here. A little more history on exactly how it started. Uh, I guess something about a volcano. Or something. That's pretty good. It's a nice little uh, short hike to the rock here. Some windy roads. No shortage of wind. in that rock. There's actually some snow up here. This it was piling down snow just a few weeks ago, so it's no big surprise. Oh yeah. Let's keep on chugging along here. Alright guys, we're making it onto the uh, rock here. Just a nice short hike in here, nothing crazy. See here. See the rails behind me? But one thing that you'll notice definitely about this hike is uh, if you or your friends or family, whoever you're bringing, you have any fear of heights, <laughs> be careful because this this is quite the uh, quite the extravaganza here. And what's really cool about it is this hike. Exactly, it might be a mile, but maybe it's not very long. You just climb high and high and high. You're hanging off the side of the rock here, as you'll see here in a few seconds. And also, a few moments, right behind me is the Oregon part of uh, the Columbia Gorge. You can see the river and all that stuff here. We're already making our way up. Once you start the ascent, it doesn't take too long. Which I like about this hike. It doesn't take too long to get here. It doesn't take too long to complete, to go up, to go down. And like I said, it's a rewarding hike. Most hikes have, you know, some type of reward or whatever, but... This one definitely has its reward at the end. It does take quite a bit of energy to get up there. Like I said, it's about a mile or so. Maybe a little less, a little more. So it's not terrible here. Let's keep on heading up. All right. Like I said just a few moments ago, just started the ascent 
up here. So we got some uh, chunks, chunks of ice and snow here. And honestly, probably won't be here too long because it's pretty warm. It's about I don't know, high 50s or low 60s. Oh yeah. So you might see a couple little patches on the way up here. Now this is what I'm talking about, guys. That's nice. You got the little safety features, a little rail. But doesn't matter who you are, rookie, professional, anywhere in between. Definitely don't get too cocky on this one because already if you have some trouble, you're gonna get hurt, if not worse. We're not even way up there. We just started. As I said, you start to see the uh, river down there, the Oregon, that's Oregon over there. Yeah, and this wood's strong, but some of it feels pretty janky and old. So you got the kids or someone having fun with the graffiti. Nice little feature. Oh yeah. Definitely nothing short of amazing. As you can see here, it goes up and up and up. Now I've been here on multiple occasions, some of them. A few of them really nice weather like today, blue sky. Can't get any nicer outside, nice and, nice and warm, moderate temperature. But I've been here when it's rainy and cloudy too, which is still fun, but definitely a lot more uh, dangerous as you can tell. Oh yeah, take that one out guys. See if I can get a nice little zoom in here. Maybe a little bit more even. Oh yeah, definitely don't want to be stupid here guys. Get yourself into some trouble real quick. Right off the bat, right off the get go. Amazing sight. So didn't even have to go in a half mile, maybe a quarter at most. That was way up there. That's where a lot of the famous uh, Oregon waterfalls off the gorge are right there, along up and down the highway. See here, it zigzags all the way up. Something else. Now, I've been on a lot of hikes. I mean, I can't even tell you. I can't keep track anymore, but this one, there ain't much like this one. All right, let's continue up. Already getting ourselves into some uh, kind of fun spots here. Boat ramps way down there. Even the river's looking nice and clean and blue today. Oh yeah. Like I said, it's good stuff. It's definitely strong, but feels like it's been here for hundreds of years. <laughs> definitely really good architecture though. This place, this rock's been here for a long, long time. Probably like the things since thousands of years or whatever, but the actual hike or uh, you know, all the stuff over there, I can't tell you how long it's been here a long time. <laughs> like I said, if you're a fan of heart when it comes to this type of stuff, uh, me for one, I've brought people up here and they don't like it at all. That was my encouragement, I was able to get them, uh, get them by. Some people forget about it, they say. Ain't no way. Just looked over there. Wow, you got the nice sun going right out that river over there. It's amazing. Up and up and up, it's all it goes. We actually just started this dang thing too. Got 
some more wood action. Some type of uh, cable set up. I can't really tell you what that is per se. And I think this is considered a uh, we got nasty with State Park, that's why. Cost a few, uh, few dimes to park here. Starting to head up into the rock here. It's kind of cool that there's uh, actually trees. They're really quickly here. One thing that uh, I'm pretty sure I've noticed before, obviously, but uh, it's really, really wild if you think about it. Somehow, Dang rocks, literally, uh, with the uh, trees growing out of the rock. And I don't know exactly how this is working out. How the roots uh, invariably dig themselves in and are living real nice because they're living too. But hey, it happens. It's really cool. It's not just a big old dead rock. It's like a living rock. All these trees are like literally rooted in the rock. Check that one works. Let's continue here. It's a while that just continues and continues and continues, and it's kind of hard to see, but there's quite a few people up there. Let's see if we can get a zoom in here. Where you at, guys? There we go. Up and up and up. When you're actually here in real life, it's just astounding. And this is the uh, forest spot. It's all these living trees rooted in the rock. I don't know if I don't understand it myself at all. You know what, here? It's just guys. We're here, might as well have some fun. I call the naughty. Oh, 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 oh. Ways down there. Ooh. Nice little choo choo train going by. Get a pan over here. A little uh, swamp lake area. You can definitely see over there on the other side of the freeway all the cars. That's where I'm out in the Oregon side uh, most of the time. So kind of tucked and wedged in here. Oh yeah. Amazing. Now originally I wasn't gonna do this uh, stop, rest for a minute, take a nice little breather, but the weather's so awesome. It's nice and uh, warm. The wind ain't too bad right here. Killer. It'd be crazy enough to stop right here. The sketchy concrete bridge above us. Oh yeah. Definitely rock. more sketchy territory. <laughs> like I said, feels pretty solid. Hopefully it's solid. 
just looks a little crazy. Quite the turns right here. As you can tell, it's definitely switched back city around this part of town. Up and up and up, turn and turn and turn. up something wow now I know in a few moments we're gonna enter into a new spot it's like a forest spot Great day for this. It is awesome weather, everything. I, I heard that too. Well, good luck, man. Oh yeah, gotta love every bit of it. Right, trying to work our way into the in, inside middle of the rock here, towards the center. Definitely a lot of forestry and trees up here. All right, just real quick before we start making our way up towards the peak of this place. Let's get ready to walk around by, but I know there's something in the corner of my eye. There you go, know baby. We gotta do the naughty. Definitely gotta check this out. Off beaten in the path for sure. A lot of stuff. It's off the path. It has a little risk factor to it. It's definitely worth every bit of it. It's definitely worth the price. Over here, it's like a little rock formation. Watch the uh, every step here. The mountains go high. Really high. We're really far up. Probably do a, some type of crazy acrobatics, zip line or squirrel suit off this dang thing. All right. Let's make our way back down. Gonna keep on going here. Continue our nice little journey. 
get a little windy doing this, but like I said earlier, it's nothing too crazy. See right there, big, big slide down. That's what they got them things for. Must have took quite a while for them to actually put these up. As you can tell, you definitely have to drill them into the rock. No easy feat. When you get to the open spots, you can definitely feel the wind. If it was a few weeks ago or a month or two ago, cold weather, it was a bitch yeah. Now it just feels good. We're in Oregon, so don't get yourself confused. It ain't tropical wind, but right now it's not bad. That's for right when you think you're almost done. You look around the corner, and you ain't. Just continues, continues, and continues. Rock right there, looking out. Get lucky with these type of hikes in the northwest because it's so hilly, rocky, bunch of mountains. And obviously, a lot of other places in the country have that kind of stuff too, but. Right there, it's wild. Right there, big old peak that. Way down there is the uh, the famous dam. Look at that tower right there. You can get there from both sides of Oregon and Washington. I've been over there a long time ago uh, from the Oregon side, of course, but. See right there, Power City right there. You really bunch those things up right there. All right, you no reason to stop. When you're this close. Can't wait for it. Ooh, blinding light. All right, everybody, almost to the tippity top, to the pinnacle here. Just a few more turns and we're there. Let's go. Oh yeah, you see you guys. It's gotta be it. Might not be able to hear it right now. I hear me a tour playing down there. Kind of surprising if no one's up here right now at the very tippy top. Saw a bunch of people on the way down, on their way down. Maybe one more turn right here. Check this out. All right, guys, we make our way up here to this final little section, a nice finale, the goalies. Let's end it with a bang here. Really surprised it wasn't one of the person up here, even though I passed a lot of people in the way that we are going down. Kind of surprised there wasn't one more person. Oh yeah, everybody. Can't beat stuff like this. 
seeing this on the big screen you're on anything else awesome you can do alive ain't nothing like it. let me get situated here get the old backpack off go now this actually helps me out about 850 feet above sea level ain't too bad what's saying here also if you're up here doing the ice age you see a bunch of big chunks of ice float down there now you can only imagine that one it looks awesome right now imagine that nice little spot to camp out sit down for a few minutes bring out the snacks the lunch have a quick drink not too roomy and spacious up here we're gonna definitely accommodate quite the group size here sun falls on its way to tell glad you guys are here with me to see this one you come up here a hundred times, a couple thousand times every time. It's just as amazing. This is great. Alright everybody, really appreciate you sticking with me throughout this little hike. Like I said, it's not a huge one. It doesn't take miles and miles, hours and hours to get to the top of this big thing. It's pretty quick. Unless you're not too far from town. Right uh maybe 30-35 minutes from Portland. 20 minutes from uh, Vancouver and uh, Washington so that always makes it real nice not to have to drive your butt off to get to these places which a lot of times you do it's always worth it but this one like I said a lot of bang for your buck I don't even need to say that the views behind me explain that one so like I said thanks for joining me on this one Got a lot of other really cool locations planned out that I know you guys will enjoy. It's crazier than this one. I just decided to do this because I've been here a lot. It's a classic. Like I said earlier, I brought a bunch of friends and family here. They all seem to like it, other than maybe a little fear factor, but you know, once you get down, back into the car, get home, you're glad you did this. So thanks, everybody. Stick with me if you want to see more. See you next time.